What is going on Minecraft Java Edition players that want to play Minecraft Java Edition with Fabric Mods on their iPhone? Today, I'm going to show you how to set up Fabric Mods and play them with Amethyst. Amethyst is a new launcher that allows us to play Minecraft Java Edition on our iPhone or Android devices. Yes, this is an iPhone 11 with iOS 16.6, which is basically the last version that you can play this on. So if you don't have an iPhone that's below 17 and certain versions, then you won't be able to play this on your iPhone right now until they get it on the Apple Store, which I hope is very soon. So the very first thing we're going to take note of here, guys, is that I need to actually load into my Amethyst by opening with JIT and then click OK. The next thing you're going to do is click on this icon on the top left hand side, go to profiles, and then you're going to create a new profile in here by clicking this plus icon on the top. You're gonna to create a fabric style profile. Now, I haven't tested this with versions 1.2, 1.7 as of yet, so if it doesn't work for 1.27, then move on and use a different version for now until it actually is fully updated and ready to go. I'm only going to use this for 1.2, 1.5 because that's what I've tested so far and it works. Okay, now we're going to use the latest release, latest loader version and all that fun stuff and click on done. Now the next thing you're going to do here, very important so that you can keep your stuff organized is to create a game directory. I'm going to create a game directory called fabric 1. 0.21.5 just like so and the reason why is because that's where all of our mods are going to go after we actually finish creating this now the next thing i don't touch any of the render or the touch controls gamepad controls preferred java version or anything like that because generally it's going to download everything that you need so click done click done again and then it's going to get everything ready to go now right here we're going to actually notice that we can select from our drop down menu right here which is going to allow us to actually select our loader now the next thing you're going to do which is very important so that we can actually load the mods into the right folders is click play now why we're doing this first is just because this is going to create a bunch of folders in that folder that we just created on our iphone that folder is going to generate on the iphone and everything and get everything prepped and ready to go and yes, you could technically play Minecraft Java Edition in portrait mode. Yeah, it's a pretty convoluted way, but it's not really the funnest way. Now what I'm going to do is actually just go to quick game. I'm not using my controller right now. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my web browser of choice and go to ModRinth, okay? So we're going to go to ModRinth.com, which is this website right here. Click on Discover Mods. Very important thing is that you download the Fabric API first, okay? Now we're gonna click on the download icon, click on the version that you're going to be downloading it for. So I'm doing 1.2, 1.5. So I'm gonna download for 1.2, 1.5. Now I'm going to go back, go back, keep going back. I am not fluent with iPhone. So yeah, if I can figure this out, then you can figure this out too. So that's why I'm telling you that. Now the next thing is the mod menu. A very important is to download this mod menu and click 1.2, 1.5, click fabric, click download again and download now swipe back swipe back swipe back until you get to the main menu and there we go now we're here and now you can download whatever other mods you want i highly recommend you to download fabric language kotlin and make sure you select the right version click download again and download that and the next thing is the silk mod okay you're going to actually go to the top go type in silk now the reason for this is because a lot of mods require some of these dependencies and libraries so that you have this out of the way you don't come here and say oh it didn't work or anything like that it works for me and if it doesn't work for you then you didn't pay attention make sure you pay attention and the other reason why is because i'm going to download the vein miner mod vein miner mod is a very cool mod so that you can i vein mine a whole bunch of copper if you want to now make sure you select the right version the right loader and everything and download that file the next thing you're going to do since you have all this downloaded already is go into your file manager okay now you're going to go into your iphone and you're going to go all the way back into the main directory of your iphone and you're going to go to your downloads and i like to sort my downloads to basically the latest so date okay and that's right there so now i'm going to select all of my files now i gotta remember how to do this okay don't don't get mad at me 
click on the select and I'm going to select all of those files. So the fabric API, mod menu, fabric language, Kotlin, silk, all and vein miner. I'm going to click on the copy icon. Yeah, that's it right there. Okay. So now I'm going to go back, go back, go into my, on my iPhone. You should see a folder in here called amethyst. Now you're going to go to your instances default. And then you're gonna look for that folder that we created at the beginning called fabric.1.21.5. And then you're gonna see a mods folder. And then you're going to click on the three dots and then you're going to somehow paste it in here. Okay, paste. There we go, I long pressed and paste. There you go, that's it. Now we gotta go back to the troll store, open with JIT. And then we can actually go into our fabric loader for 1.21.5, which is this one right here and click play. I'm going to attach my controller, do this, there we go. And now you can see that we have the mod menu right here showing our mods on the left hand side. And if we go into single player, go to creative. No, I don't think it works in creative. So let's go to survival and I'm gonna try to find some copper maybe, or some iron or some coal. And I'm gonna show you that this mod is actually working and it's actually working and it's working. Because, you know, a lot of people come here and say, it didn't work for me. Well, that's because you didn't pay attention. <sighs> yeah, a lot of people don't pay attention these days. And that's probably because of TikTok. I'm going to tell you that now. So let me just play a little bit until I can actually find myself some vein mine ores. That's it. And here we go. We got some iron. Okay, we got some iron right here and we're going to mine it. And look at the magic happen. And that means that the mod is working. I know it was coal, by the way. I know it's not iron. Don't forget. Have a nice day, guys. Hope that was helpful. Very not much rocket science at all. If you have any questions that are actually not related to the video, then I won't answer them. If you have questions that are actually related to the video, then I will answer them. If you didn't try, then I also won't answer them. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm going to say about that. Make sure the mods are compatible. Make sure your mods are the right version. Make sure that you actually followed along with what I did and enjoy playing with fabric mods on your iphone bye, -bye.